Over a month after its previous August update and after topping DistroWatch's rankings, the Arch-based performance-focused Cache OS has released its seventh refreshed ISO snapshot for the year, powered by Linux kernel 6.17. The ISO and installer now ship with Orca and is speaking, providing screen reading capability throughout the installation process. Under the hood, the team has enabled the MKNICPO systemd hook on supported configurations. For compatibility reasons, however, the hook is automatically disabled when users select ZFS or CACHIFS as the root file system. CACHIFS users now receive CACHIFS DKMS, replacing the stock kernel module to provide better file system integration. Moreover, the installer is now prepared to use both Plasma Login Manager and Cosmic Reader. Cosmic installations will immediately switch to Cosmic Reader, providing a better aligned experience with the Cosmic Desktop. Plasma Login Manager support is present, but held back until its integration with KDE settings matures. Regarding hardware handling, Supported Intel GPUs now automatically pull in Intel Media SDK and VPL GPURT, while NVIDIA's legacy 390XX driver is officially dropped. For me, generation cards will instead rely on Nouveau with NVBoost. The release also expands handheld device support to the ASUS ROG Ally and ROG Ally X, improving out-of-the-box compatibility for these X86 gaming handhelds. Several core utilities have been updated as well. Cache OS Hello now launches the system's package installer rather than maintaining its own, and includes a new command line interface for all GUI functionality. In Cacheo settings, the distribution disables ZRM recompression for incompressible pages, concluding that it offers no performance benefit. For gaming, Proton Cache OS introduces a series of upgrades. Users can now enable DXVK Plasync through Proton underscore DXVK underscore Plasync equals 1. AMD's anti-lag layer is automatically disabled when using Proton underscore FSR4 underscore upgrade to avoid stability issues. At the same time, Wayland behavior has been improved with fixes for full screen offset, input quirks, DPI handling, and video output. A newly tuned per game shader cache with larger limits, especially on NVIDIA GPUs, helps reduce shader recompilation events. FSR3 and SaySS upscaling improvements also land in this update. The release also includes additional fixes, including correcting Limine installation on systems with broken UEFI implementations and switching to the systemd variant of the BTRFS overlays hook for better MKNICPO compatibility. Calamaris removes the deprecated Adder 2 option from XFS mount settings and support for the T2 chip's USB Ethernet interface has been disabled. Lastly, existing users have one manual action to consider. Steam native runtime is deprecated with a migration guide available on the project's discussion board. For more information, see the announcement. As an Arch-based Linux distro, existing users can grab all these improvements with a simple pseudo Pacman su command. For those opting for a fresh install, the updated ISO files are available for download via Cache OS's SourceForge mirrors.